So good morning to you guys and girls. Dave here with Affordable Door and Gate. I wanted to show you a door here that I run into that's a common problem. Um, so for instance, well, let me show you the door. Well, that's if I can even get it down. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, the door has ripped. I think where they failed was that they actually put the strut on the bottom. They should have put the strut probably in the second, what do you mean better than maybe the third panel? I would have put it in the second though. So this door has actually got a belly effect to it, which is causing it not function, right? Okay. You'll actually just watch this one comes up. Okay. Oh, there it goes. So actually when that door bellies, when this door bellies, the opener won't push it through. You actually gotta have to lift up on the center. Anyways, part of the reason why I was making this video was I got a, um, normally I'm a Wayne Dalton dealer, but I'm dealing with this mid-American door. And I wanted to show you kind of some of the pros and the cons of it. So for one, I really like that they put a list in here it looks like they did a thorough job. Somebody really did some quality control. Um, what I do like is the hinges are the full hinges. They're not skinny. They're actually a good quality hinge. Um, one thing I wish most garage door companies would improve on though, is I wish they would actually put some kind of sleeve in here because what happens is if this door ever gets off track a little bit and this roller pops out, it turns into a break in the track. This is the bottom bracket. Uh, I do like fully adjustable hinges, or I'm sorry, uh, flag brackets. Those are nice, a good solid cable. Otherwise, with the door, I do like how they package it. I like how they put this foam in here. Uh, it keeps the door protected. That means I'm more than likely not gonna have to paint this. I guess if they wanted to go a step farther, they could actually bolt the end of it. Uh, let's see, let's take a look. I'm not a big fan when they strap it like this. It makes my job kind of hard. It does look like they got a pretty decent gasket on it. I do, what I really do like though, is, oh, it looks like they changed it. They used to have a metal one. They probably did a cost savings. They used to have a metal aluminum retainer in there. Now it looks like they went to plastic, but I still like that it goes underneath. It just seems like it caused less issues with the customers and them complaining about. It looks like the door is open, things of that nature. So anyways, beautiful day here in Michigan. I'm actually gonna get to work on this door. I'm a little bit excited because most of the time I'm trapped in the office, so when I get the opportunity to put my hands on a door, it gets me a little bit excited. I'm not going to lie. So, All right, how was the old and with the new? I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep hanging those garage doors. We'll talk to you later. I'll see ya.